so guys as you all know just the other week I had got some very 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 special in the mail um, so let's flashback I had decided to start this filmmaking journey way 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 back in 2016 that was two years ago um, I had been wanting to be a filmmaker ever since I was little I mean I was practically born with a camera in my hands um, you could not see me in middle school and high school without a camera and back then I had like the little disposable cameras that you take a picture and once you fill up the roll you take it to the one hour photo and then you get it developed and then you have all these pictures that was my start my mother has had a camera in her hand for the longest time she was a part of her photography club in high school and she grew up with Canon cameras. I grew up around Canon cameras. I love Canon cameras. Do you see what I'm doing here? Canon, hello! Um, so finally, um, I graduated high school in 2002 and I said I want to go to film school so I brought mom this flyer for Full Sail University which is in Florida my mother said no <laughs> we didn't have the money we didn't have um, the no one thought that I was ready to be that far away from home um, and that far away from her I think part of that was my mom but definitely no. <laughs> so I settled. I settled into a university career that I just, I was on a hamster wheel. From 2002 until 2008, I was just on a hamster wheel. I just, I was depressed and anxious. I didn't know what to do with myself. Around the same time period, YouTube came out and started taking off and I was obsessed with watching YouTube videos, watching other people make videos, watching AMVs, making my own AMVs on YouTube, doing stuff on IMView and translating it to YouTube, um, making YouTube videos out of them and then came 2008, I met my daughter's father, I fell in love, went to Indiana, um, no, I did not marry him, but I did have Bunny. Uh, two years later, I'm back in North Carolina. I go back to university for early childhood education degree. Still was not what I wanted to do, and deep down inside, I knew that. So while I'm studying for early childhood education, I start watching YouTube videos again, um, but this time a different set of YouTube videos. I started watching Superwoman and got motivated to do what I actually wanted to do. Um, I started watching D for Darius. I started watching Film Red. I started watching Peter McKinnon. I started watching all Dazzle Larga. I started watching all of these filmmaking videos. I started watching. All these people making this awesome content that had nothing to do with early childhood um, that made me say, dang it, I'm not missing this boat. I meant to do something more than teach children ABCs. Perfect timing. So, fast forward this tax time. Um, I have gotten into the Art Institute of Raleigh Durham. Yay! finally go to school for what I want to do. I have already had a year of teaching myself how to film, doing editing and vlogging and doing all of the stuff that I do on YouTube all the time. And then finally I get into art school. This tax time I had to buy a car. The money I had left from buying a car, I bought a camera kit. Not just a camera kit. But my, my little bundle came with a tripod. It came with, um, I bought lights for it. I got a sound recorder for it. I got a mic for it. I got all these things that I've been wanting at the same time. And it really didn't cost me all that much money. Um, but with my little kit came this camera bag. 
which you saw in my what's in my camera bag video so you briefly saw what I'm about to review for you today but now I'm going to go into a little bit more depth of my beauty my beloved my wonderful my second child that has a piece of purple on it my Canon EOS Rebel T6 no, it's not the T6i, it's the T6. Now, I love this camera. It's, it's a beauty of a DSLR. It's a beauty of a starter DSLR, especially when you don't have a thousand bucks to blow on a DSLR camera, such as the Canon 60D, 70D, 80D, or any of those in that series, or even the Mach 1, 2, or 3. Um, this is the perfect camera for you to start off with for a DSLR and other than that, it's a Canon! <laughs> yes, 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 of course I got a Canon camera. I mean, what, what other kind of camera should I have gotten besides my Olympus that I'm actually going to give to Bunny when I get enough money to get the Canon camera with the flip up screen that I saw at Best Buy. Yeah, yeah. What, what other kind of camera would I use other than a Canon? That's just crazy business. So, this particular Canon camera, um, as you can see, it's not as big as some of the other cameras that are out there. The other cameras are kind of huge and bulky, but the DSLRs, all of them are. Um, the mirrorless kind are teenier, um, and so are the pointed tubes, but I specifically wanted a DSLR camera. And oh my god, the pictures. Um, this is wonderful. This is a wonderful camera. It's lightweight. Um, it easily fits in one hand and this particular camera in the box came with who are you Come here. well you know of course it came with the charger lock for it this kit lens this kit lens is awesome it is um an 85 to 55 millimeter it has an image stabilizer is a macro um, it has the manual focus if my camera will focus the autofocus the image stabilizer of course as I already said and the beauty of a lens inside of it What a beauty and a work of art. Do you see the aperture is opening and closing on the inside? It's lovely. I love this camera. I love this lens. Um, but this is definitely a kit lens. And I probably will sometime very soon get other lenses for this. The battery of this camera is flashing. I will be right back after I change it. Um, anyway, skipping forward. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this camera on Boop. and as you can see up here is the dial for the different camera settings and I will do this again with B-roll and we change it and we get the different camera settings in the camera. So let's just pick one particular camera setting that this usually stays on. Manual! So we go to manual, we go to this, get this lovely screen right here. This is so cute. And then we can just manipulate and move things around and change things in the camera that we need to. Then we press this lovely cube right here and we're back. And then we have this menu that brings up this menu right here. And then we can go through and change the different camera settings for this particular camera, including setting the date and time. And we press menu again and we're out. We press this button right here. And then it goes to the camera itself. I do not have a lens on this camera, but 
this is the part where I would put a lens on it before I even press that button. And that closes um, the thing for the lens. Up here is the aperture. This little thing right here is the aperture. So when I do have a lens on there, I scoot this around to get the best light exposure in my shot. Um, the flash button's right here. So when you press this flash, that happens, the in-camera flash. But my kit also came with this. So I can just slide this on here. And make sure, oh, I don't have any batteries in it. But use this flash when I need to. Awesome sauce. I bought myself a um, Targus Tercrasp. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, microphone, boom mic to go on top. I have ordered the adapter so that I can plug it in because this has no audio in jack, but it does have a USB port, an HDMI port, and a port for the other lovely little thing that this camera came with. I need a bigger camera bag, I swear. I swear, my mom. I'm not wasting my life being a filmmaker. This, this lovely, lovely little shutter bug. You plug it in right here. You use it to take pictures. Of course, I don't have it on to demonstrate, but you use it to take your pictures. Now, this particular Canon camera, as do all the Canon DSL cameras, they do have an app that you can use to help connect to the Wi-Fi that is on the camera itself. In fact, I will show it to you. This lovely little app right here called Canon Connect. I've already connected my camera to it, but once you go through all the steps to connect your camera and the camera's Wi-Fi, you get the screen right here. So whenever you want to pull your pictures off your Canon camera um, and you know do some manipulate them for Instagram or send them to somebody. Um, directly after you have taken pictures, your camera, this camera, this lovely camera right here, has built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Wi-Fi, oh so that you can actually send yourself the pictures on your SD card that is in the camera. Um, now. I'm looking for a program that I can use to monitor so that when I film with this and I have to be on the lens side of the camera, I can just film and have a monitor so I can see myself because unlike the thousand dollar Canon cameras, this does not have a screen that flips out like my lovely camera that I'm recording this video on right now. Um, so I need a monitor to be able to see myself when I film with this. I need a director's monitor. That'd be awesome, that'd be great. It's the next thing I'm going to get. Um, I do absolutely positively love my camera. Now, with the bundle that I got, it came with extra lenses. I know I seem to be disorganized, but it's just the way my back works. I, it came with an 8mm wide angle lens that just attaches. Put this off to this part of the camera, which I embarrassingly found out myself one day. It attaches. I did not fully attach it because I don't want to be struggling on camera trying to get it off, but it attaches right here to this part of the camera. And then you have a also came with a 38 millimeter telemoto lens. Um, and this also just plain old attaches to the end 
Beauty Lens right here. Um, I am going to get more lenses and newer, better lenses, namely lenses specifically, specifically for the Canon camera itself. Um, but that is awesome. So I absolutely love this camera. Um, I really do not feel like doing a rating scale, but I probably will. Um, this camera is awesome and amazing. It takes wonderful pictures. I have yet to actually shoot a whole lot of video with this camera, but eventually I will. Um, like I said, I highly recommend that if you are in the market for a DSLR camera, but you do not have a thousand dollars to spend on a um, 60D, a 70D, an 80D, a uh, Mach 1, 2, or 3, or any of the other thousand plus dollar DSLR cameras, and you want a Canon, get this one. The link will be in the description below for this particular Ambra. We actually sell it at Target as well, but I didn't feel like going into Target and answering questions. So I bought it on Amazon. So the link is in the description for this particular camera. And I will also include a link in the description for the camera kit. The, 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 the filmmaking kit that I purchased when I purchased this camera. Um, Cause this camera by itself is probably $300. Uh, but the kit that I purchased it with was about 500. So, all of that will be in the link in, in the description box below. Click on the link. Go buy yourself a wonderful, beautiful camera. It's amazing. My only issue with it is that it does not have a jack specifically to hook up my boom mic. So I do have to buy um, a USB to 3.5 millimeter female jack for it so I can hook up my boom mic. But that is okay with me. It will be here on Friday. Yes, Friday. <laughs> It'll be here tomorrow. I'm okay with that. It's on its way. Um, thank you, Amazon Prime. So, I am working on doing a review for this lovely little beast right here. Um, so look out for that one. I will be doing a review on my tripod. I will be doing a review on my lights that I purchased. And then I will be doing a um, review or showing you guys the setup that I am working on right now. Getting done for my studio my in-house studio so that'll be great um
video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Come join, uh, be a part of Wonderland. Um, this is a channel, a network, a company, eventually a company, um, that does everything it can to bring you fresh, awesome content, um, pure imagination using our pure imaginations. Yes, we might get a story idea and adapt it from that idea into something new, but it's still our pure imaginations. So why not come back and indulge yourself in something original instead of the reboot machine that is Hollywood. Support independent filmmakers. Um, I will see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. I have new merch. Go get new merch. And also, click on the link down below for TubeBuddies. If you have a YouTube channel that you're trying to grow, TubeBuddies is the channel. Well, not the channel. It's the website and the add-on to your browser that you just might need to help you grow your YouTube channel. It helps you with tags, thumbnails, all that good stuff. So go check out TubeBuddies. Check out the links in the description for my camera and all the gear that I use when making this video and all of my videos um, here and on the vlog channel. Go check out the vlog channel. The link is going to be on the end card. And oh, what's that? There it is right there. Check me out on the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm there. Go check me out, you guys. And maybe next time this will not be purple or it might be. I don't know. I love my hair. I love this hair color. It's amazing. So, I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. You guys are beautiful. I said that like three times now. So now I'm really am going to stop the video. Be kind. Be brave. Be awesome. Mwah. One love. Doki Doki. Go out and spread the Doki Doki. Love you, Wonderland. See you later. We are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.